Hi, Rich Garuba for BowlingBall.com. I want to talk to you about bowling ball finger hole pitches. And I mean the thumb and the two gripping fingers. And it's amazing even how high, uh, high average bowlers or bowlers who are very experienced haven't tried different pitch angles uh, drilled into the bowling ball to help influence their releasing action. So there's a lot of little tricks and a lot of little uh, insight that goes into measuring your hand and fitting your hand properly with the right pitch angles and uh, for your finger and thumb holes. You should obviously try to get an experienced pro shop uh, professional to help you fit and measure your hand to get the right gripping action. If you're a newer bowler, he's going to want to make sure he'll look at the way your hand opens and closes, the size and shape of each finger that's going to be used as a gripping finger, the distance or span between the holes, and so on. He wants that to be precise. So you, it'll help you exit the ball consistently every time and also be able to put a good releasing action on the ball so you can be accurate and get a good effective roll on your bowling ball. Now, you know, everyone's hand is different. Our thumbs open and close differently. It, it's remarkable how finger pitches vary from bowler to bowler. So don't just try to measure your friend's bowling ball and ask for the same pitches. Get with that pro shop operator and do it. When you put your finger holes into the bowling ball first, uh, they may converge uh, near the bottom of the holes if the angles are drilled to converge. Uh, so you've got to be careful you have a wide enough bridge, the distance between the, the top of the two finger holes. The finger holes, the, the, the ring finger and the middle finger, there should be sometimes a quarter inch or, long, or wider bridge. Some bowlers prefer a, prefer a narrower bridge. Uh, but we want to avoid the holes converging or the bridge cracking or separating. So you don't really need a very narrow bridge. A wider one's fine. Uh, just check with your pro shop ball driller so you make sure you choose the right one based on the way your fingers uh, fit into the bowling ball. And also the way your, uh, the thumb pitches go. Uh, some bowler, we have away from palm and toward the palm thumb pitches. Uh, same with the fingers. The fingers can be drilled toward the palm or away from the palm. The angles that are drilled into the, into the bowling ball affect the way you grip the ball and can affect the amount of rotation you put on the bowling ball. So there's subtle little things that are very important with finger hole pitch angles. Uh, and these are things that you should become very familiarized with, particularly when you start drilling multiple bowling balls and you progress in your bowling career. Um, and, and those, are, those are, are simple things you can talk to the pro shop operator about. I, I believe that everyone should get in and have their bowling balls, pitch angles, uh, checked out again after you've owned a ball for six months or a year. Uh, make sure your hand hasn't changed sizes. Sometimes you lose weight and so on. you got to change inserts in, in, to the, in the bowling holes and so on, or possibly change a thumb slug and change the angle. The, the pitch angle, your thumb is drilled into the ball. All those things evolve as you evolve as a player. And, uh, and, and I just think that bowlers don't pay enough attention to that. They'll just uh, go in, have a ball drilled, and bowl with it, thinking that's the end of it. And uh, it's not. There's a lot of uh, creativity that goes into planning how to drill uh, the bowling ball, not only where the holes are placed on the ball for a layout pattern. We call it a drilling layout, which... Uh, is uh, takes weight out of the ball in certain areas relative to the center of gravity, relative to a mass bias marker on the bowling ball and your positive axis point. All those things influence ball motion. So what influences ball motion is you as the bowler and the type of release you have and also the way the bowling ball drilling pattern is laid out. So it's vital that you develop a good professional working relationship with your pro shop operator if you're going to advance in the sport and if you're going to get multiple pieces of equipment. So. You start by checking out to make sure you get the right pitch angles drilled into your bowling ball. Hope this information proves useful to you. Thank you.